welcome. In today's video, I'm going to make over this old church pew. I've had it in my home for years. It's been inside and outside, but a makeover is overdue. So hopefully, I don't think I'm going to cut it down, but I may have to. Come along with me with this makeover project. I started out by washing the bench down. It was pretty dirty. It had sat out on my front porch for about five years. I used Murphy's oil soap to wash it down. I don't normally wash all my projects down with soap and water. However, the Murphy's oil soap is very gentle on wood. After it completely dried, which took about 24 hours, I started to sand. not going to be a drastic makeover. This church pew is, is old even though it is primitive and I just want to keep the integrity of the pew. So I'm going to clean it up, give it a fresh coat of stain, and then hopefully I can use it in my house for many years to come. After the sanding was complete, I got out the air compressor and sprayed off the bench. I tried to get in all the little cracks so that when I stained it, the dirt or wood would not muck up my stain. I began by staining the underside of the bench. I did this because I wanted to spend the extra time on the top because that's what you would be seeing mostly. I went with a dark stain for a couple of reasons. One, it looked like it had had a dark stain on it at one time and two, the darker stain goes with my decor in my house. I had thought about painting it white and distressing it, but like I said, I wanted to try to keep the integrity of the bench. So I just decided to stain it. I did a pretty good job of keeping the stain off my clothes. However, my hands are a different story. I've tried to wear gloves doing this. The gloves tend to rip or get a hole and I end up with stain all over my hands anyway. 
I didn't have any gloves this time, so I just stained it without them. And now I'm going to pay for it. Over the years, some of the slats had came apart and left cracks in between. So I went back with a paintbrush and put the stains in the cracks. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video has inspired you to do a furniture makeover of your own. Thank you.